Man Crow, collected by Walter Jekyll, told by Jan Blake. Once upon a time, in Jamaica, there lived a little girl called Soliday. Soliday lived with her grandmother. Every morning, Soliday's grandmother would pack up her wares and she would go to the market, and every day she left Soliday with the same warning. Soliday, remember. Stay in the courtyard with all the other children, and if Miss Matty call you inside, you go in with her till I get back. And remember, Soliday, keep your eyes out for Man Crow. Man Crow, grandmother said, was a man, half man, half crow. He was very jealous of all the colours in the world because his feathers weren't as beautiful as all the other birds in the forest. And as a result, he would go around stealing the colour from the world, draining all the beautiful bright colours, orange, purple, green, red, all of them, draining all the colours out of the world and putting them into one special feather that he kept on his back. If you ever see him coming, run, Sally dear. You want to pick them, run to Miss Matty House and stay inside. All right, Granny, said Sally Day. So, this is what would happen every single day until one day Soliday was out in the courtyard playing with the children when she noticed that the green leaves on the tree weren't green anymore and that the red flowers weren't red anymore and by degrees all the colours were being drained away. It's man crow, said the other children and they ran into Miss Matty's house. But Soliday, she was furious. Who does Man Crow think he is, stealing all of the beauty out of the world? I'm not having it. But all the other children were saying, Soliday, Soliday, come inside, come inside. She said, no, I'm not coming inside. I'm going to take him on. You can't do that, said the other children. You can't do that. But Soliday, she was determined. And very quickly, because she was very clever, she came up with a plan. And as she saw the colours disappearing and she saw Man Crow coming closer and closer, she began to sing. Good morning to you, man crow. Good morning to you, man crow. Good morning to you, man crow. How are you this morning? Man crow stopped in his tracks. No one had ever sang to him before. He said, Yoko girl, what is your name? She said, my name is Sally Day. Good morning to you, man crow. Good morning to you, man crow. Good morning to you, man crow. How are you this morning? What? You're not going to sing to me? I tell you morning. You're supposed to tell me morning. Oh, oh, s sorry, said Man Crow, who had never been spoken to like that before in his life. And he began to sing. Good morning to you, Sally Day. Good morning to you, Sally Day. Good morning to you, Sally Day. How are you this morning? She said, you sing very well, Man Crow. Oh, oh, really? Thank you, said Man Crow. She said, let's sing together. And so they did. Good morning to you, Man Crow. Good morning to you, Solid Day. Good morning to you, Man Crow. How are you this morning? She said, I wonder if you can dance as well as you sing. What do you mean, said Man Crow, who had never been asked about dancing, and neither had he ever sang to anyone before. Like this, she said. You put up your hand, I put up my hand. You put your hand on my back, I put my hand on your back. And then we dance together. Oh, oh, oh. all right, said Man Crow. See, the thing was that Granny had told Soliday that Man Crow kept all the colours that he stole in one special feather on his back. And that if she could get her hand on that one feather and remove it, all the colours would return to the world. So Soliday took Mancrow's hand, Mancrow took Soliday's hand. He put his hand in the small of her back. She put her hand in the small of his back. And they began to dance. Good morning to you, Mancrow. Good morning to you, Mancrow. Good morning to you, Mancrow. How are you this morning? Round and round they twirled. And as they were dancing, Soliday was feeling and feeling and feeling for one feather that might feel different from the others. And there was, there was one. 
one that was larger, one that was thicker. And she knew that was the one. So as they danced around and around and around, Solide grabbed that feather and yanked it out. What have you done? What have you done? What have you done? Said Mancro. She said, I take your feather because you steal the colors from the world. Look at what you have done. Are you proud of yourself? But, but, no buts, said Solide. You have no right to steal the color from the world. You have no right to steal the beauty from the world. You are wrong, man crow. You're frightening everybody with your deeds, and today it will stop. Man crow had never been challenged before. Man crow had never felt ashamed of himself before. But as he looked into Solide's eyes, he knew that she was right. And he hung his head, and he walked away. And Solide said, wait, wait, man crow. I know you are lonely. I know you don't have any friends. But we can be friends. Really? He said, yes, she said. Let me go and call my friend then. And she went into Miss Maxie's house. And she convinced all the other children that Mancro would be friends with them now and he wouldn't try and steal the colours, mainly because she had his feather, but also because she thought that he would be a different person from now on. And so all the children came out. And all the children and Solide and Man Crow, they danced around and around. And what do you think they sang? That's right. They sang, Good morning to you, Man Crow. Good morning to you, Man Crow. Good morning to you, Man Crow. How are you this morning? And that is the end of my story.